Hey everyone, so this is yet another trip up a little bit north of me to try to get that snake and that lizard I've been looking for for a long time. And I got Isaiah there in the back, he's got his apple, and we're excited. He actually starts school on Monday, so that's a huge milestone for our family for sure and something that's pretty cool. So let's see if we can find some stuff today, I'm really excited. All right, I'm just stopping at a quick flip spot. See you when right, I find it. First snake is this in shed Texas rat. Looks like it was. A, it's a really pretty one. It's just in deep shed. You guys have seen these on my channel before. Back under the board he goes. All right, so first snake is an eastern hognose snake. It's an adult male. See that long tail there? I'm super excited about this because this is my first Texas one that I found, and he was out on the crawl. Most likely looking for mates this time of year now. Um, they've most likely already been breeding because these breed pretty early in the year. Cool facts about them though, if you haven't seen my video on them before, these guys are primarily toad eaters. So they have these enlarged teeth, the back of their mouth, excuse me, and they use that to pop toads that inflate themselves up with air. This is a pretty average one for this part of Texas here. This is pretty cool. Super, super grateful that we found this guy. Isaiah and I are gonna let him go. There you go, flat-headed snake. These guys are really common here. I find these all every time I come here. Yep, we're gonna let him go under the rock, buddy. There he goes. Gotta put this rock back. Perfect. Look at this. These look like giant swallowtails here, and they're getting water. This is a really cool experience for these to be so close to Isaiah. You're not gonna catch them, dude. Say bye, butterflies. There's a Blanchard's cricket frog right there. I'm pretty sure the call of these frogs sound like two marbles being clicked together. All right, I think one of those rewarding parts about being a herper and a dad is, you know, I've seen ho Eastern hognose uh, in other states plenty of times. I always welcome the find, but what's even cooler for me is, you know, my, my, my kids seeing that now, you know? And so I'm hoping, you know, Isaiah and his brother, you know, we'll, we'll get to experience experienced just as many cool things as I've seen in my in my short lifetime already. And Isaiah's eating some grapes, so the only thing you might have to take a break every once in a while. Nice, there's a plain-bellied water snake. Very common snake here in this part of Texas, and it's was just hunting uh, tadpoles here. There's a lot of them here in this little dried, dried up area of the creek, and he was just putting his head all through the leaves there hoping to catch one, so that's pretty cool. I have seen a ton of these, but this is a short line skink. Tetragramus, I think, is the subspecies on this. Just nabbed this guy by the rocks and managed to do it without breaking his tail, so I'm super happy about that. I just found this really cool millipede. I'm unsure of the species, but really pretty red and kind of a black gray color. Super cool. Friendly little guy. Isaiah, what's this? Millipede. Snag this female Texas spiny lizard here. She's probably gravid because she's like a balloon. Always enjoy seeing Scoloporus. See ya. Good morning, mommy. Good morning, mommy. Say love you, mommy. Okay. All right, we're back out again. A few days later, giving it a shot. Still got low pressure conditions right now, but uh, it's not sunny and it's gonna be a high of 90 today. So I think today's gonna be really good. Stay tuned. All right, this is kind of a cool find here. I flipped this, I think this is a cave scorpion that lives around this region. They have this really cool dark brown color and they utilize kind of the rocky outcroppings of these limestone cliffs around here. So this is a first time I've seen this. This is pretty cool. Actually, it looks like he's eating something too. It looks like he's eating a small centipede. So pretty cool. First snake of the day is this plain bellied water snake here. Pretty common here in Central Texas. Saw one, a few of these the other day, but wasn't able to get my hands on any of them, but got my hands on this one. He was kind of out foraging, probably most likely making his way to the water here. So I'm gonna let him go so he can start his day hunting tadpoles. All right, just found this guy out transiting over to a small little isolated pool of water over here. This is a yellow mud turtle. Pretty excited about this, this is a lifer for me. Yeah, see Isaiah, I know he goes in the water. Come on, let's go bring him to the water. So he was pretty close to here. So 
these guys are really cool because this is pretty much one of the furthest west Kino Sternen uh, turtles out west. So this is pretty cool. I'm really, really excited about this guy. They're really easy to distinguish from other turtles out here, especially ones that are similar in nature, like the stink pot or the mud turtle. They have a little bit of a different shaped shell. In addition to that too, their head, slightly different in appearance. These guys eat a wide variety of prey. They eat a lot of crayfish, tadpoles, snails. And this pool of water here provides an excellent source for basically all of those, especially since there's crayfish and tadpoles here. So we're gonna go ahead and take some photos of this guy and let him get on his way. Got a young water snake over there in the corner, and a bunch of ribbon snakes. Young ones that are here feeding on all the fish that are breeding in here. There's another young plain belly water snake that goes another red stripe ribbon snake over there. Maybe this is gonna be a good spot. We'll see. All right, here's a closer look at some of the young plain bellied water snakes, really striking colors on these guys, and a red striped ribbon snake. You guys have seen these already on my channel once before. This is pretty cool. Here's a pile of more red striped ribbons. There's just so many of them in these little pools of water here where all these gambusia are trapped. And they're just having a feast, so hopefully we find their relative also doing the same thing, taking advantage of this feeding opportunity. So these guys are really beautiful. Look at that red stripe. All right, Isaiah and I are stopping for a lunch break right now. Um, I'm just beat. This snake has really tried me. I haven't had to look for a snake this hard in a long time, but at least I'm having a good time with my son, and at least we're, we have found a good amount of snakes. Those pools filled with the fish, I think, are an excellent feeding opportunity for the eastern black neck garter snake. But it just hasn't paid off yet. So. All right, pretty much going to end the video right here. Looks like this is what we're going to see for the last snakes of the day. More plain-bellied waters. There's two right here. There's one there, and there's one there. And they're both kind of actively hunting in the same pool that I've been seeing them in before. They just kind of slither around with their mouth open underwater and in hopes of catching these tadpoles. Well, if you stuck with me for this entire video, I really appreciate the support. As you can see, the life of a herper dad, Isaiah, is asleep. This is a brutal hike when it gets to this point. But thank you so much for the support, and I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I try to get videos and content out as much as I can. So, st so thanks for watching and see you guys again soon.